from today morning cricket match is played and i am the seventh batsman so don't expect anything from me i am more like a bowler rather than a batsman maybe ravichandra ashwin i'll come straight to the point because time is short everyone is busy before coming over here my daughter who is my biggest critic asked me a simple question papa where are you going i told beta i am going to take take stock i am happy papa you cannot talk you are going to take stock please don't go yes beta let me try and papa where are you going for today's talk i am to university papa don't go they are brilliant you will be so you can talk anything in front of them so i am following my daughter's advice i am not talking anything i am exchanging the ideas with best brilliant minds in front of me with a hope let us make a good india blending vision defeating poverty if you can do it if you can bring roti in everyone's plate two times a day then just few minutes back we saw janagana manayada by our natural heritage we can really make it our indian heritage i'll come straight to that point okay before talking anything you had a extreme extremely good lunch so close your eyes go to sleep seriously i'm requesting all of you close your eyes please don't watch anything close your eyes and switch off this light please this light all of you go to sleep please close your eyes no need to see anything no need to watch anything and my friends who have dif different abilities they will be very happy to be with us now please switch off this light that light please please my request okay all of you close your uh, eyes please honest okay now go to 2002 i am taking you to one of the most developed states in india called gujarat i am taking you to there in peak monsoon season which is the best cropping season and you are in a car early in the morning 7 o'clock you are on the road please close the eyes you are on the road and you are going on the road you came to a junction called sami which is one of the desert desert affected areas in gujarat and you will find at 7 o'clock morning nearly 3000 people from the age group of 16 to 60 male female everyone is on the road why they are looking for someone to buy them on that day difficult to understand they are expecting someone should come and buy them for that day please close your eyes and get 30 rupees wage labor for that day because even if there is a rain they cannot do any cultivation they have the land but they are on the road and in that whole process there are plenty of ladies are there one of them is sanku ben every year religiously she is coming to sell her labor even the peak monsoon period which is the most critical cropping period of the life next year same story next year same story next year same story now open your eyes come to 2007 and you see the same crowd you can fight all of them or maybe majority of them are on the same crowd but shanku ben is not there she is not there to beg to someone to buy her labor on that day for selling her labor to get 30 rupees which can give or half dollar which can give the income for the whole family for that day where is she we didn't have drone let's go back to the village and see where is shankuben we went to shankuben's house she is not there where is she we went to her for plot of land she is smiling first time yes and she is walking okay in monsoon 
Yes, where in a plot, okay, alone, no. She is accompanied by other five or six women together. So they are not also selling the labor, they are not also selling themselves on that day. No, not a single one. How it can happen? If they were selling their day every day and night for every year, what is the miracle has happened that they are not selling themselves on the specific day? And that's the Phongro. That is the situation where one widow, widow vulnerable lady with a group of women members are emancipating her from bonded labor to be a cultivator with a dignified income, with a dignified agriculture practices, and most importantly, making India proud. I'll take you, film please. Film please. Can I switch off the lights? Part of the story over here is that from Shanku to Shanku Ben, from a lady with a respect, is means or meaningful much more than a simple technology. And besides that, this woman made India proud and nowhere but United Nations Climate Change Awardee. Not only that, these women, they may not be going to school anytime in their life. They are now defending six IITs. Doesn't it deserve a clap? <laughs> not only that, they are mentored by Stanford Business School as a topper from the world. And Howard came forward as the best technology for the gender implication across Southeast Asia. <laughs> Three days back, this woman became the best social enterprise in application of innovation and technology in the grassroots in whole Asia, beating all companies. <laughs> all these are possible because you are internalizing the technology with the social process, with a specific objective of giving an empowerment, enabling to those people where it matters most. Now I will come fast and go fast because flight will be missed otherwise. How to take the slide, my first slide? Second slide, next slide, yeah. So as I explained earlier, 
Bhongru solves both the challenges, no water and excess water. These are the benefit it having. Now, funniest part of the story, if you allow me to tell, in India, we are working in 11 states now, and 11 states, every state have a horrible water logging challenges and drought, it is horrible. So, we have made a clear dictation to ourselves that for any drought affected areas, if any farmer is unable to sustain her, his life, his widow is gifted Bhumru free, totally free. Okay, so how can we survive? So, we, uh, we charge our Indian captain five times than actual cost. Okay, he does not mind. Next slide. Next slide, please. Next slide. So, what is the solution? I have already explained the solution in the, uh, this film has already explained the solution, which is the even, even film. So, we are not going to the detailing part of it. Simple part, what I like to explain it, it is a technology which has been co-created. Rather than dumping from the top, we have created the technology in such a way that every lady who has not gone to school can learn the technology. So, your question will be to me, how it's possible because it is a combination of seven engineering principles. How can you do the seven engineering principle to a lady who hasn't gone to school any time in her life? Simple. Very, very simple. They know cooking, which is different, difficult than seven engineering challenges. So, believe their knowledge in cooking and use the principle the way oil float on water you do the Bhungru technology that Bhungru water is a lower density, underground aquifer is, underground water is a higher density, you give that concept. It does not cost anything, simple, free. Number two, you have a whole theodolite total station survey to understand the gradient of the soil which cost you nearly 2 lakh rupees per acre, in Indian currency 200,000 Indian rupees per acre, we cannot afford it woman member cannot afford it for a single acre of so much of cost. So, what is the technology? What is the technology innovation you can do? Simple, came from women. Any village at any point of time had at least 100 women who are pregnant. Okay? If you are 3 months pregnant, then you put a matka or pitcher full of water of 20 liter, come to a single point, all 5 women like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 5 direction, ask them to stand and ask them to walk with a full of matka, three months of pregnancy when they walk and when they climb, there is a pressure in the belly button. You got the gradient, correct? Does it cost anything? This knowledge came from women and we are zapped, all IIT, IIM people we are, we told, we don't know anything. And that was the co-creative model of innovation and that is the model of creating an internalization of the knowledge and that takes you ahead. But here I am not talking of Bhungru, here I am not talking of our organization, here I am not talking of anything related to any services, our social enterprise. I will take you to a different route, first slide, defining, blending vision, defining poverty. I like the young minds to come together and create a blending vision for our mother nation, mother earth, as well as for everyone. So, next slide please. We have this recognition, that's fine, all this recognition is okay. Next slide. So, first thing first, what we did is to find the right need. Innovation, don't do the innovation first, first find the need and try to find a easy way to solve that need. Innovation automatically come into the picture. And if you can do that, if we can do that, everyone can do because we think we are the bluntest person in the world. And if we can do that for those people who need it most, then you are going to succeed. Nobody can stop you. At least I can think that way. Next slide. Think simple. Think out of the box. What does it mean? Be as simple as possible. Don't cumbersome the process. Don't make the process difficult. It is very difficult to be simple, but once you simple and once you do that thing, then acceptance level in our community is very, very high. Especially for us who are a social enterprise, our whole mantra is to empower the community with the innovation and technology. If technology is difficult, we are kicked off. So, 
our objective was to make it as simple as possible and as easy as possible and which should be from the local conceptualization, local level aspiration. Next slide please. This is amazing, isn't it? This is amazing. We never thought that way. It can happen. So we found people have the will, people have the way, people have the knowledge, people have everything. Just listen to them. Just listen to them. Next slide, please. Now this is the game process, what we have done. We try to find the thoughts and then we try to dissect the thought and try to create the idea to make it as simple as possible, as easy as doable, as easy as replicable, as easy as easy can understood by everyone. And then we try to create a simpler strategy through the local community such that they can visualize it through the process and then action comes. And if action comes with this whole backup process, the result is Juta Chumega here. Next slide. So our simple point for here is that be the change I learned to read it. Point what, what we are saying over here. First slide I told you blending vision, defeating poverty. Here you can see the woman who hasn't gone to the school or colleges or anywhere. They are now measuring the water pressure head. I never thought it. This can be possible within two years time. Not only that, after measuring, they are explaining that to other women members. That also we never understood that it can be possible or even dreamed of it. And which is more sorry, and which is more important is that there is C60 degree acceptance. So there is a peer acceptance in the process. The best part of the story is that now it is a part of government of India policy. <laughs> Besides that, we have been pushed by top office of India government to be technical escort of five. African nations president. <laughs> expanded in Africa, six countries, expanded in Southeast Asia, partnership with all the international agencies and most important part is that we are keeping it in open source. 17 designs, 4 lakh, 400,000 liter to 40 million liters of storage with a capacity of one day delivery or um, three days delivery to one day delivery with a geographical climate variation of 201 millimeter rainfall that is pure desert to 2173 millimeter rainfall so extremely water surplus area all the solutions we have <laughs> all open source all given free because air and water should be free. Next slide. <laughs> Antadaya and Sarvadaya. Anybody knows what is Antadaya and Sarvadaya? Anybody knows? Anybody? My, my young friends? Anybody? Antadaya and Sarvadaya? Even I didn't know earlier. What is Antadaya? It is a Mahatma Gandhi's principle of serving the last person in the queue in the best possible way. And Sarvadaya is very simple. If you follow Antadaya, then you can ensure best life form for all living plants and creatures of this earth. So sustainable development goal where we are, Bhungru is confirming all the sustainable development goals. Actually, Mahatma Gandhi has, erect, has deciphered it in 1942. And that is our philosophy. I think that is great, no? Next slide. Thanks. Uh, just one sec. There, all the details are there in the in, in the last slide. You can take it a photograph or anything. You can you can take the copy. Anybody, anywhere, any place, any need, any query, shoot us. We'll answer. Perfect.